Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're gonna do a new run here, we're gonna do an Eden run. Ignore the streak, the streak's gonna end because I was recording a run and then the audio got all messed up. I'll explain. That's pretty great actually. Just what the heck is going on here because I probably sound a little different than you're used to. We've moved. Everyone says, oh, you move so much, why do you move so much? We don't really move that much, this is like... I mean, I've moved a lot in my life, but this is the first time we moved in like two years. That's fairly standard for young people who don't own property, I think. But anyway, young people who don't own property. <laughs> I don't know why I said it with that snobby of a tone first, but um, if, if my audio sounds a little bit weird, a little bit reverby, I understand. Um, I'm in the process of getting like some bass absorbers put up because it's all about slapping that bass. And also, oh, I didn't mean to give you that, but luckily we got a key from here anyway. Um, uh, I have a, a little bit of audio foam, like acoustic foam, put up to, to kill some of the reverb, but it's still going to be a little echoey temporarily, but we'll get it handled for right now. Enjoy the cinematic feel and the gravitas of the Binding of the Isaac Rebirth as you've never seen it before. Also, um, you know... Hey, Scumbag, where's the Rebirth? <laughs> well, it's been sitting on my freaking computer. You know what, I might prefer Doctor's Remote every other room as opposed to Unicorn Horn every six rooms, even though there are some kind of practical ap applications of that. But anyway, um, the, the, the Rebirth and the videos in general have existed. We were supposed to get internet the day we moved in, but then the first service people came by... Eh, not really that worthwhile. The first service people came by and were here for like literally three hours and they're like, Oh, we don't understand it, but your internet doesn't work, so uh, we're gonna call in the heavy hitters. They called in the heavy hitters, they came by at like 8 a.m. today, and, uh, well, Unicorn Horn would have been better there, but whatever. Um, they come by at like 8 a.m. today, they fuck around for a couple hours and go, we don't know what the hell the last people did, but your shit should work right now, and it doesn't work right now, so we're pretty much just waiting on, you know, a miracle, I guess, and then the internet will be set up. Of course, that's my own fault, because when you're setting up for a move, you should assume that something is going to go wrong. So instead of being like, let's have the internet set up on the day we move, we should have started paying rent on this place like six months ago and set up our service call for six months ago, and then when we inevitably ran into problems, then we'd be in a good position right now. That's, of course, a tongue-in-cheek way. Ugh. No HP on this entire floor, huh? That's decent. That's alright, and that's good for the next floor. Probably better than Lemon Party for the next floor. Let's head down. Um... That's a tongue-in-cheek way of saying, you know, try not to hate on me too much for th for this. Like, you know, I'm I'm finding it as annoying as the next person. Uh, I'll use a bomb here because I can use Doctor's Remote with a little bit more offensive punch. I figured that we would probably pick up a Spirit Heart anyway, so we should pretty much have a 100% deal with the Devil chance, unless I get some Red Hearts and then promptly lose them over the rest of this floor, which is probably pretty unlikely. That's a little tempting, admittedly, to go pick up that uh, iron chest, but we're uh, probably going to go try to make the boss room happen first. My reasoning for that being that I would like to, you know, know where I stand with spirit hearts before I go potentially throwing some away. I see the tinted rock. I'm just trying to wait until maybe we have a little bit more riffraff on the screen. The super envy fight is, you know, nobody's favorite. This shit is crazy annoying. But if we time it right, and we got a lot of shit on the screen when we use Doctor's Remote, we might be able to, you know, speed up the whole repugnant process here and make it happen. I, uh, you know, I'm gonna sound a little different temporarily. Just get used to it. I'm gonna do the whole, you know, Total Biscuit thing and put up a, you know, acoustic foam. I went to the music store yesterday and I was like, do you sell acoustic foam? And they're like, yeah, but we don't have any in stock. It's like, well, you know, should I just order it online then? And they're like... Actually, we got some in stock. Like, he, I don't know what he was trying to do. Like, he was trying to sell me, uh, like, upsell me somehow to a... Oh, that was a great use of it right there. And a great payout. Like, he was trying to sell me on a different store. He was just trying to make sure I actually wanted it. He's like, well, you know what? Now, you, you seem like you really want acoustic foam, actually. I know that's exactly what you asked for, but... He's like, well, we don't have the professional acoustic foam, but I got, like, these two little foam 2x4 blocks that we can sell you for 30 bucks each, and I'm like, okay, well, that'll that'll do. It's actually, even if you, I sound a little reverby right now, you're probably, many people probably barely noticing, but, uh, you know, it'll it'll be handled either way, but um, yesterday was seriously like an echo chamber. It's a small room, it's just got a lot of hard surfaces, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, seriously, the, the floor is quite hard. It reverberates. How many spacebar items can I get on one single room? 
The answer is who gives a shit because one of them is Guppy's head, which is maybe not a, an absolute marquee uh, space bar item, but it's up there. You know, it helps. I'm gonna be happy to have it. Little scared about uh, oh Pyro's pretty good, but I'm a, well. It's pretty good once we actually have the ability to you know heal ourselves with it because we're gonna need some actual HP first, but. It's pretty good. It synergizes with a lot of different things. We traded two bombs for two bombs. Look, I'm not going to be salty about it, but there's a lot of situations that have not paid out quite the way that I thought they would have or quite the way that I would have wanted them to. We traded a bomb for a penny there. Also not too fantastic of a trade. But we got to be getting close to making something happen here. Uh, I think because... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Because of our existing HP, we need to come in here and try to get a Spirit Heart. And then, if I could actually swing a uh, a compass pickup, that would be awesome. But I doubt it's going to be likely. By the way, if I sound physically different as well, that's that's the product of like a two day move here, which has been. I'm not a I'm not the moving type, you know. I'm not the I'm not the IKEA furniture guy. I'm the I'm the guy who you know does PR for IKEA. And then we have the people with actual tangible skills come by and assemble the furniture. I just go, well, I know, well, you know, people will be more likely to buy it if you tell them that it's, you know, handcrafted by a Swedish, you know, Jarl or something like that. Anyway, it all works. It's just psychology, man. Monstro's easy enough. Also, I <laughs> feel like I'm making a lot of, of excuses here, but uh, I'm pretty sure that my Isaac skills are going to be very, very rusty. We already took six minutes to do a relatively easy first couple of floors, but my Isaac skills are going to be relatively rusty. It's been like a half a week since I played. Most normal people would say three or four days, but I say half a week because it gives it a little air of gravitas, a certain gravitas, if you will. Guppy, guppy, no guppy. All right. In addition to the world being a little bit out to get me with my move and moving woes, I think uh, the run is a little bit out to get me so far as well, but that pyro pickup may be just what we need. Explosive Diarrhea, we don't have to run away from that, we can come back and uh, not risk taking any damage because it doesn't matter. For now, I guess, we save our key and use it on this item room. And of course, immediately after saying I'm going to save it, the one situation in which we want to use it pops up. Inside we find some more bombs, so we're building like a, a pyro-based explosive run here. But what the F am I going to do about that, you know, when I only have 13 bombs? It's a lot for this part of the game, but it's not a lot in an absolute standpoint, or from an absolute standpoint. And I can't really use Pyro to heal myself yet. Really hoping, like at this point, this is where I'm hoping for a deal with the Angel. This is like a 1, maybe not 1%, but like a, I don't know, like a 5% type situation. Once, once or twice a, a, a month, maybe. I'm thinking, I want to deal with the Angel not for... Let's pick this up first. I want to deal with the angel not for like fun. I want one for actual strategic purposes. We're gonna have to try to buy a spirit heart down here. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much the best we can do here. I would like to get blue candle as well, but we'll wait until we see if we can, you know, financially support that. We could probably look for secret rooms, and that'll help out as well. All right. So very important. We don't get hit here, just in case we get a deal with the devil, and I actually want to pick up something that can make our life you know, winnable here. The other thing is, uh, we might, <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd, I'd say we actually have a very good chance of fighting Krampus here. So we're gonna have to live through one more floor before we get deals with the devil. No, okay, we get a speed upgrade, just what the doctor ordered. And then, again, no items. And I could go fight that angel, but I think most people will probably forgive me for saying no to that right now. Um, this is, this is a very strange run. I don't think we've improved our DPS at all. Really, the only shining light that we have right now is the fact that we have some bombs. And, uh... And Guppy's head is actually extremely nice. I'll admit that, uh... The Guppy's head pickup is, is probably one of the main reasons that I haven't really noticed how bad this run is looking right now. It's because, you know, we, we get a couple of... Maybe not free, but heavily subsidized enemy kills every single, uh... Every single room. Which is pretty beneficial. Also, we fought an easy boss there, so that, uh, that makes it easier as well. Bet our secret room is going to be down there. I will open this. We've already been to our shop, and that is going to pay out eh, relatively nicely. A key for two bombs and like five cents. It's solid enough. And uh, our secret room, unfortunately, was not there. And I think we can be pretty confident it's not here based on the layout of this room. Considering this is like Caves or Catacombs 1, that has me a little bit worried that it's going to be in a 
an unorthodox position. You know, one of those positions where it'll be like, um... Like, just adjacent to two rooms instead of adjacent to three. And another, like, really shitty iron chest there, man. Even one penny would have been substantially better than that. We could get a bomb out of it, maybe. Who knows, but... We'll see what's up. I gotta be careful, you know, the last time I moved... I, I was paranoid about my audio sound. Which is probably a redundant sentence to say right there anyway. But I was paranoid about my audio, and then everyone was like, Man, I'm gonna stop watching Northern Line. His audio sounds like fucking goddamn hell. People actually, literally that cadence. And then I was like, what are these people complaining about? It sounds alright. I mean, it sounds like a little echoey, but it could be, could be worse. And then, um... It turns out that I've been recording. I have a unidirectional microphone, which means it only captures sound from, like, one direction at a time. It only captures sound from one direction, so ladies, if you're looking to buy it, boy, have I got a deal for you. Um, secret room must be... What the... Oh, it must be adjacent to our shop and the... Uh, item room, then. Weird. Anyway. Uh, I, I had it backwards, basically, so it was only capturing the sound of my voice echoing off the wall, which is... I'll just be straight with you, it's incredibly stupid. Alright, well, we're gonna be taking a hematomesis pill down to the next... Or, sorry, explosive diarrhea pill down to the next floor. I'll tell you what. Fuck my donation machine, I guess. Wow, it didn't get any money, and it didn't blow up the donation machine. That's a new one. Check here for the second secret room to try to salvage, like, some kind of something out of this. Wow. Look, I'm not one to complain, and I mean that sincerely, as I've spent, like, half this episode complaining, but... This run has not given me a lot of... It hasn't even given me... Any, any fruits to bear. You know, people say, oh, well, you know, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Yo, if life, life has given me nothing, what am I supposed to make out of nothing? That's the real question. If life gives you nothing, what do you do? If life gives you a freaking motor oil, then, you know, open up a Mr. Lube. But if life gives you jack shit, what are you supposed to make? A shit sandwich? You don't even have any bread. If life is giving you lemons, you're already a step ahead of the curve as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, uh, against Mega Fatty, it's gonna be long, but, uh, oh, that was dumb damage. It's gonna be long, but, um, you know, we got bombs that we can use to supplement our existing damage here, and... We got Mega Ma. I'd prefer to not use any bombs here and then just use like one extra bomb against Mega Ma. Let's try this in the new place. Appear to be energy resources. But I've never seen anything like this on Oith. We'll find the energy crystals. We'll find Dr. Wowie. It's okay. It's Look, to be a, a professional recording booth, this is going to need some work. I got lucky in our old place. Like as soon as I moved in, there were like concrete walls that absorbed all the sound unless you're our shitty neighbor playing electric or electronic music at like 2 a.m. Slip a note under his door, he says, Oh, I'm sorry, it's electronic music, so I didn't know how loud it was. What the fuck are you talking about? You, just because it's electronic music, does it defy the rules of decibelation? Anyway, he was mostly like a pretty good dude, just kind of shitty when it... Like, I think that maybe... And I can talk about this now, because we're not, we don't live there. I think that maybe he had some kind of drug... Uh, addiction or something. I don't want to say problem because maybe it was working out well for him, but uh, like every morning he'd come home from work at like 6 p.m. fairly normal, you know, with a commute, and then he would uh, he'd play like one song really really loudly, which I, you know, I get. You know, you come home from work, you're like, I've been thinking about this song all day, I can't wait to listen to this fucking song. You listen to the song really loudly, boom, start the rest of your domestic day, right? Domestic evening. But then at like 4 or 5 a.m., We'd wake up and we'd just be like, brum, da, 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 brum, da, 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 and we're like, what the fuck is going on over there? So I don't know if that's. I guess the logical thing would be that it's this dude's like alarm clock, but it would seriously go on for like half an hour. That dude needs to get some more effective, uh, you know, alarm raising situations. Otherwise, he's going to sleep through a smoke detector or something like that. He's a heavy snoozer. Don't really want to spend my spirit art there just yet. Anyway, that's all right. At our current place, you know, we, we saw like three dudes, they were like 25, 26, they each had like a 12 pack of beer, and they were like, they're across the hall from us, they can probably hear me right now, shh, shh, shh. But they, they were like, yeah, fucking fuck bro, yeah, dude, I totally give you a hand job, fuck yeah, and I don't know if there's anything wrong with that. And then they walk in, and they open up their apartment door, and I hear like, wah, wah, like there's a baby crying, you're like, what is, what is going on in this, in this city, man? You gotta take, I mean, maybe they take care of their kids, I'm not saying they don't, but, uh... 
It was just, it was a surprise is what I'm trying to say, I guess. I don't know, maybe it was their baby. Maybe they got a three man and a baby situation going on and maybe this is the first time they've, uh, they've had any fun to themselves since the baby was, uh, adopted? I don't know. I'm not trying to say they shouldn't, they, they can't have a few, uh, you know, pints and also be very good fathers or, you know, godfathers or uncles or whatever the hell's going on in that situation. I'm just saying it was a little jarring as your first impression. You should not stand there. I'm having some problems. How do I feel about this run right now? I'm going to be honest. I feel a lot of pressure to be entertaining because I don't think that this run, from an Isaac standpoint, has a huge upside to it. Now, that can change very quickly. We do have we have some latent things going on for us. Spider Baby, by the way. I didn't talk about it because I think Spider Baby kind of sucks. It's the one that only gives you... Uh, I thought there was a tinted rock back there, maybe. It's the one that only gives you spiders when you get hit. And, you know, considering we're on floor four and we haven't gotten a single bit of traditional HP, uh, I'm not really in the market to get hit. It, I mean, I guess it's nice that we have a little bonus when we get hit, so it's not all bad, but it's not good. Um, we have no precedent, which maybe is okay because we could still get the Ultra Devil Precedent. I think we could always still get the Ultra Devil Precedent, though. Um, it's it's a complicated situation right now. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, we uh, we could get two guppy items on our next deal with the Devil. That would go pretty much seal the deal for us right away, I guess. Um, here's another addition that would be cool for Afterbirth. How about there's... Um, you already have the Toxic Fecal Discharge. What if you had some, and you have the full health, like the rainbow fecal discharge? Ooh, okay. That's acceptable. Uh, what if you had, like, some... How am I trying to phrase this? What if you had, like, some, uh, like, Necronomicon poop? Like, black poop or something like that, and when you shot it, it damaged everything on the room. That'd be pretty sweet, huh? So we got an evil upgrade. Missing page two is not particularly good. This is... I was actually kind of hoping for a double reroll room, but to be honest with you... It's pretty excellent that we um, got some extra spirit hearts there. We're not going to be able to buy anything here, but this should, one way or the other, it's going to give us enough purchasing power to buy something on the next shop, which is important because we might end up having to be carried by like a blue candle for the rest of the game or something like that. I know we have bum friend as well, but like my fiscal situation, my standing financially is more important than his standing financially. All right. Uh, probably try to go to the curse room on this floor, but okay, this is, this is where we turn it around. I mean, the miter pickup means that it's good, but it means that we obviously won't have, very stupid of me, we obviously won't have the ability to, uh, get a deal with the devil after this. But as far as deals, deal with the angel items go, the miter's pretty solid. Just be a little careful here. Maybe we get a guppy item or we get an instant win item like Brimstone, Mom's Knife, Death's Touch, Abaddon. The pact is good, especially if you don't have to pay for it, but uh, we're still, I don't know, are we still behind the eight ball? Maybe that's a little bit intellectually dishonest. We're not really blowing the doors off of this run, but I don't think we're doing too bad. And any damage item we get, like the pact for example, more of a tears item I guess, but uh, any damage item we get or DPS item we get is very helpful when it comes to actually using... The uh, Guppy's Paw situation, so I don't mind that too much. Maybe with 13 bombs and Burnt Penny, I'll take the opportunity to snag uh, maybe a Magic Mushroom would, would help out a great deal. And we'll try one here, one here. We got a lot of bombs and a decent ability to get more easily in the future. Pheromones. 48 hour energy. Uh, I'll just use that right now. Okay, I'm a little confused by why uh, things got so framey all of a sudden. Oh, you know what's going I know exactly what's going on here. Alright, you're going to have to give me just a second here after I do this. Computer woes. We got some tech support happening outside of the office here. So I think I just need to unplug my Ethernet cord and that should solve this. Alright, just give me a second. You know, technical difficulties. It's okay. Alright, so presumably if you give that like another... 10 seconds here. Hey, there we go. Totally fine. Puberty. I'm glad I did all that just to get uh, that pill. We'll sacrifice one spirit heart to hopefully get some consumables here because we are not getting much of anything else and that'll do it. How do I feel about this? Honestly, it could be worse. We picked up some decent stuff there. 
What did I? I must have gotten myself hit on the spikes, which is not very smart. Um, definitely a bomb for a. I have freaking pyro. Why is that hurting me? Unless I push myself directly onto the spikes right away. Anyway, it, it was worth it for the key. I feel. Um, for now, I guess we'll be heading down to the next floor. I feel like I've, apart from that, like, pretty egregious series of mistakes right there, I feel like I've played pretty well in this run. I'm just dealing with a situation where, um, you know, it's not, uh, it's not totally easy here. We haven't been carried yet. Hopefully on this floor, I'm starting to take some really dumb damage. Thank you for the spirit heart. Probably the miter is to thank there. Uh, hopefully on this floor we start to get some, um, deal with the devil precedent again, precedent again or some game-breaking deal with the angel items would would help out a lot as well okay goat head is a little too late to be like exceptionally worthwhile but uh, i'm happy to have it so that we don't have to worry about not getting any deals and then we'll just teleport directly out of here um this is not going to be too helpful for us though and that's yet another semi-wasted uh deal with the devil attempt right there that i didn't really have too much control over so if you're keeping track we got the miter We've had three deals with the devil. Four now. Wait, depths two, two on the caves. Yeah, we've had four deals, one of which was all bombs, one of which was all bombs. So two of which were all bombs. One of which was the miter, and the other one was three spirit hearts. A little bit less of a, a effective, you know, setup there than you'd normally like to have. Now we've had a, a bounty of a space bar. There's no question about that. Um, do I prefer Tammy's head or Guppy's head? It depends, honestly. Um, this will probably be... It'll go down as a mistake by most people's standards, but I really like Tammy's head, and I think it has better better um, synergistic potential. Thought that could work out in our favor. I think it has better uh, syner synergistic potential than, uh, than Guppy's head. They're both pretty good, but Tammy's head can be the item that wins you the game. Guppy's head can help out a great deal, but uh, Tammy's head itself is like a potential game buster. All you need is like a, I mean, all we would need, oh, right, forgot I had the wrong head. All we would need is like brimstone or something like that, but all you would ever need is brimstone or something like that. But rubber, cement, death's touch, these help out a ton. I guess I'm learning my lesson here. Let's shoot all the fires, um, since we have the miter. Come on. There we go. Okie dokie, okie dokie, let's do it. Not mom. Good, I thought I made a terrible mistake there. Figured we'd stand right next to the gate and did a decent amount of damage there. Thank you, homing bombs, for homing in on completely the wrong enemy. Yeah, that was extremely bad. We know we're not going to be getting a deal with the devil here, though, so really, I just... I don't even want HP at this point. We're already so close to being able to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Just give me, like, the DPS upgrades or something. Yeah, that's basically what I asked for. As I understand it, torn photo and toothpicks are nearly identical, and the screw is a step below. So, I mean, it's, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm still happy to have gotten it here, but uh, it, it could be better. That's not just, that's not for complaining sake. Rather, it's me, uh, you know, figuring out how I feel about those items. Because right now, basically, screw, toothpicks, torn photo show up. I'm just like, oh, good, they're all the same item. Obviously, they're not all the same item, though. So this is a big floor. I'm hoping for... At first I was hoping for the candle. Like red or blue, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, now I'm thinking we take... Um, or I'd like to see... Compass again. Mom's key. Humbling bundle. Because I'm, I'm relatively happy with our spacebar item. Yeah, two of hearts. That's a funny joke. I'm getting a little, little salt infused. I'm like a baked fucking haddock right now. Waiting for some slightly better stuff to come around. There we go. That's our second. No, it's not. <laughs> My mistake. And this Tammy's head hold is really like, oh, it's a bit of a gamble. It's the gamble that we're gonna get some sweet synergies for it long term. All right, the Joker card is not that worthwhile Ugh. because we have uh, Tammy's head already. Or sorry, because we have Goat head already. Wrong head. Happens all the time, but uh, it's good enough to hold because we'll be able to take it to the cathedral and get a deal with the devil there where we otherwise would be unable to do so, so I knocked him right into me there. Look, I'm, I'm playing sloppy on this floor, but 
At the same time, I think there's a little bit more tolerance for sloppy play from like a, a viewer standpoint right now because I'm getting late in the game, you know? Sometimes it can look like sloppy play, but really it's just the enemies get a lot stronger as the game goes on. We still theoretically have Pyro, unless I mixed it up and we didn't get Pyro. Pyromaniac, that is. But I'm pretty, like, 99.9% .9 positive we did. That would be a pretty egregious mistake. Uh, sharp plug? I don't really think it's worth it, honestly. I'll buy the key. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll go. I haven't explored the entirety of the floor, but... It's, uh, it's Curse of the Lost, so... I don't really know when I've explored the entirety of the floor. Except by, like, serious process of elimination. Yet another kind of dubious red chest. I'm not loving the, the setup right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I think that the game has been a little bit more unkind than usual. Was it not like... Okay, it's not up here. Let's try this, though. I think the game's been a little bit more unkind than usual. Uh, it, it happens. I'm hoping it stops happening, though. Justice card not immediately that beneficial. Juiced up bum friend a little bit. Oh, now I just have no idea where we are. Apparently I whiffed on every single one of those Tammy's headshots, or just I don't do enough damage with Tammy's head to kill them in one hit. It's weird, like, I, I've had runs that were better than this where I gave up hope earlier. But for some reason I just find myself kind of like, maybe I'm just happy to be playing video games instead of assembling, you know, coffee tables for the first time in a couple of days. Uh, this is... I mean, it's not a good run, but theoretically I could pull myself out of it with only a couple of items. I guess that's it, you know? It's like being unemployed and you like you have no work experience, you know it's gonna be a long haul, and I'm not trying to shit on anybody, by the way. Everybody's been there, you know? Hey, uh, entry-level job requires two years of experience, right? That's... It's a, it's an ongoing joke, but it's, it's also terribly shitty. Anyway, um... It, it's like the difference between being in that situation or being like a CEO when you got let go or something like that. You're like, if you're a CEO, you're probably like, ah, I can get myself a job whenever I want. That's what this run is like right now. Is that um, Not to say that I carry any marketable skills, but I've, I only need two guppy items in order to, you know, find myself with my quote-unquote golden parachute. However, um, you know, that upside does potentially exist. How's I it? fixed the internet. The internet's fixed. Yes. All right, I will, I will test it after this video. Okay. Because it slows down the game. Oh, okay. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Alright, this is very creepy. We'll head down to the next floor. I'm start- this is the mom floor. So I'm starting to feel like, uh... It has to happen here. It could happen on- oh, that was not very good damage. It could happen on, um... Womb 1. But we can't rely on it. Because there could be uh, an XL womb, which would take away our deal with the devil. And then it could happen on the cathedral, but you're getting into some seriously, like, tight uh, timing there. Plus, we need to have the HP to actually be able to take the deals with the devil if they show up. Unless we get just deals with the angel for free, which would also be fine, but, you know, they have to be very good. Lovely. <laughs> so, it's... it's a... This is kind of a make-it-or-break-it floor, and I feel somewhat shitty in the sense that... Uh, I don't really have control over uh, over whether we're made or broken here. Probably should have waited an extra second or so before walking over that creep, but I'm kind of amazed that it worked out for us there. Just fine. All right, that was pretty dang lucky. Seems like we've had a lot of kind of, you know, I'll just use the word that I want to use. We've had a lot of kind of shitty Isaac runs lately. Not as Isaac specifically, just in general. Um, yeah, so we... We'll come back this way. Like, there's a lot of things that have been working against us. Like, we've, we've had Curse of the Lost, like, all the freaking time. Now, I mean, Curse of the Lost might not be the worst curse, but it's, it's certainly one of the most annoying. You know what's a great curse? No curse at all. Obviously, that's a little bit unrealistic to assume that that's going to happen over and over. By the way, there is a certain element of this run right now that is within my control, and that's the amount of HP I end up taking into the boss fight, so I've really got to stop taking so much dumb damage. I don't have an interest in mom's purse, really. I'm, I could donate the money, but at this point, I'm, I'm just too salty. Like, I don't want to donate the money. We're definitely not doing boss rush. We're at, like, 26 minutes here, and... Um, well, I mean, that's just the end of that 
line of reasoning, isn't it? We're at 26 minutes here, and there's no way I can get the boss rush. I really thought that we would uh, be able to get all four of those. Whatever, though. We got three spirit arts for four bombs, which is not an optimal trade, because we could have spent one less bomb, but it's still a very good trade, so I'm not going to be too shitty about it. So this is is very much our uh, our moment of truth in here. If we can get one guppy item on this boss trap room, life would be so much easier. Obviously not going to be a guppy item, but hey, unlimited keys and a couple of extra bomb pickups, that's pretty nice. And store credit, actually. I mean, there's no reason not to use store credit to maybe pick up Mom's purse. There's no reason really to use store credit either, but I guess we could use store credit, pick up Mom's purse, and then come back for... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Luckily, uh, the husk... Very easy. It's not the husk. This is the husk, sorry. I got him confused with the hollow. Very, very easy kill. No, no significant problems there. Let's take this and go back before I forget what direction we were going. Alright, so keys are not going to be a problem either. At this point, we're kind of past hoping for two guppy items. It could happen, but really, I'm like, give me brimstone, give me death's touch, give me rubber cement or something. So we'll buy mom's purse for free, and then uh, I'll be able to take uh, Burnt Penny with me forever. Before you uh, shit talk my skills on this run, oh, I wouldn't have taken that damage, Northern Lion. I'm freaking Cobalt Streak plus A plus plus S rank here. Before you shit talk my skills on this run, recall we've had like one DPS upgrade and then the pact, admittedly, but one DPS upgrades from bosses, no HP at all, literally zero HP. We did get the the miter, but for all that shit, we've worked our ass off. By the way, notice my my fallacies. Whenever we, uh, whenever we get something that sucks, the game gave it to me. But whenever I get something that's good, I, I put in the time, motherfucker. I worked my ass off for it. Uh, that's me recognizing my own uh, hypocrisy, by the way. Let's move along here. I mean, the Emperor card is great, actually. But uh, we can't really derive any value from it while also holding on to the... The Joker card, which is potentially, you know, a game-winning item for us. Potentially w completely worthless, but potentially game-winning. So we have six Spirit Hearts. I'm hoping to get that up to at least six and a half, seven. That's going to be a tall order now. Um, great. Good job. Why, why six and a half, seven? Excuse me? So we could take uh, two deals with the Devil. Otherwise, if I can only take one, we got some issues. There we go. That's six and a half. Have we been to our item room yet? I can't even remember. We've been up. We've been up. We've been to the left. Let me make sure. I think we've been to the left, but yeah, that's where Ultra Pride was. All right. All right. This is a great first run for getting back into the swing of things. The game's uh, taking it real easy on me right now. Usually, you can find a Tinted Rock, or at least often, you can find a Tinted Rock in here. Stood right there and took that one on the chin. We're back to six Spirit Hearts. Come on, Miter. It's not your fault, Miter. You've been you've been doing good work, but just stick with me here. Just give me one more at like a very convenient time. Because we're certainly not getting squeezy from the mom fight. No squeezy tonight from the mom fight. I should probably like just avoid singing a little bit, because I think the IT tech might still be here. So not that he's just an IT tech to me, but. What do you think about this Joker card, huh? It's a very interesting conundrum. Oh, Ghost Baby, that's great. So here's what I think. I think we use the Joker card just to get maybe a bonus little bit of damage before the mom fight. Or I'll tell you what, our first little bit of HP. And uh, am I going to take... I mean, I'm going to take it. There's definitely reasons why you would not want to. I can understand those. Permanent Polaroid invincibility is extremely important. But mostly at this point, I have decided that the game thinks that I'm a piece of shit. The game has quite clearly said, hey, this Northern Lion guy doesn't deserve the time of day, so we're not gonna give him any items that he needs to win a run, and as a result, uh, he's gonna get salty and that'll make for good entertainment value. I gotta point out, by the way, this is not a run I'm just like straight up bricking. Like, I, I played okay, by my standards at least. Oh good, like an eighth Joker card. Um, so I'll tell you what. 
We, we've got red hearts now, which means we actually should be able to take, like, two deals with the devil. One red hearts, one spirit hearts. Maybe. We re we're going to get the Polaroid here. We know our deal with the devil is going to suck. Um, so I guess I guess we just stick with the plan, unfortunately. <laughs> and we, we beat the next floor the normal way. Get our deal with the devil with the... Uh, with the goat head. Really gotta hope for something a little bit better than what we've had so far. And uh, then we, our last ditch effort is kind of this Joker card in the cathedral. And if we don't get anything good out of that, and we we somehow don't make it to the chest, this run's pretty much over. But I've given this run a fair shake. I think that's fair to say. Like every every conceivable chance at victory has been uh, has been plumbed here. We haven't missed a single deal. Largely due to Goathead, but also due to the fact that we had no precedent to squander anyway. But we haven't missed any deals yet, man, so I don't know. I don't know. For now. This fight's over. It was relatively easy. We could still blow up some of these angel statues. I'm not going to do it just because we stand no chance of being able to kill Mega Satan anyway. Or at least not a, not a realistic chance. Let's head into the next area here. And of course it's Curse of the Lost because... Uh, you know, were it anything else where we could actually decide where to go for ourselves, it would be far too easy. Good, good. We actually... I was skeptical that my bomb would land there. I've got to admit that for a shitty run, at least our damage is okay. Like, it's not good. And it's not even close to where I would like it to be. But at least it's, uh... Like, we can kill things with it. It's not soy milk with no damage modifiers. That's the worst. Mind you, with soy milk, you fire about 17 times faster, but still. This is a better position to find ourselves in here. All we need to do is maintain a decent amount of HP. That was pretty solid. Maintain a decent amount of HP. Get to this deal with the devil. Hope it is a deal with the devil. See, it's very simple. I don't know what my problem is. All we gotta do is barely get hit against enemies that are gonna take us, like, you know, 10 shots each. And then, get your deal with the devil, have enough HP left over to take a couple deals, and then hope that there's a couple of deals in it, and it's not a shitty deal with the angel, or a shitty deal with the devil, or Krampus, who you have not fought yet, so you're pretty much guaranteed to fight him at some point. So, yeah, I'd say we probably have, like, basically, like, it's a lock. 100% chance to win. Might take the judge's decision, though. Yeah, all right, beautiful. Fantastic. All right, let's wait for the wall masters to come down. That actually worked out pretty well. Sorry, bum friend. I, I would still like to generate these bombs for myself. You never know when I'm actually going to need them. And yet another dead end. Pretty big disappointment. Hey, we might as well take it. Umbilical cord. Fetal protection. By my math, that is uh, the fourth best item we've gotten on this run. Which is a really good sign. Gotta be this way then. Well, I guess it would be nice if I could get a guppy item. I know not every deal with them can make you a cat. Seriously, though. Like, <laughs> if you could give me just one fucking damage, I could pull this run out of my butt. You know, exploding the bullets? No, flies. Actually, that's pretty worthwhile. You know what? I got it. Like, I don't really want to, but I got it. Okay, free ability to fly. Is that? It makes this very worthwhile. The extra HP may or may not be meaningful. It may actually be deleterious. However, its existence is uh, necessitated by its package deal skew with the ability to fly. Which uh, is, is well worth it, because a lot of the times that I get hit on the womb, it can be by bullets, of course. But it's largely, um, well not largely, but it's oftentimes creep. I oftentimes get hit by a lot of things on the wound, but this is not even our last fight here. We still got one one chub. One chub. One day we'll be able to fight the boss on this floor. I know it seems like a pipe dream right now. We're like 40, yeah, roughly 40 minutes into the video, and we were still on the womb one. Rest assured, nobody would like this to go by uh, more smoothly than me, but here we are. 
There's not really that much we can do about it. Yet another dead end, but this one contained a spirit heart at the end of it. So, hey, there's some positivity in an otherwise dry world. Not that, uh, you know, dry is not positive. Oh, jeez. I thought that this room was a dead end for some reason. That's on me. That caught the edge of my uh, hitbox there. I feel very stupid about that. A couple of flies. It's, it's nice. Abel is, you know, it's okay. It's passive. Pretty much the best thing I can say about it right now. Let's keep moving on, shall we? We're getting uh, getting down to brass effing tax here. I really, really don't want to fight Conquest. Like, give me a boss where at least I can get something useful from the boss. Like a double fallen fight. It, it sounds a little greedy, but a double fallen fight would really help me out a lot. I'm not sure if you can even, I've never thought about it really, but I'm not sure if you can get a double fallen fight after having like a single fallen fight earlier in the run. I think it should be possible. This room, by the way, can suck on all three of my nuts. But this guy doesn't have three nuts? Okay, last one. It's really nice with the knockback too, so you can't even hit them consistently. And we got a big room, which is my favorite. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Let's go fight uh, Double Gluttony here. I'm using bombs very, very judiciously and deliciously, I think, as well. At least we got a Spirit Heart back for that. No Tinted Rock that I can make sense of. Alright, decent. Decent room. We need, like, Guppy's Tail, man. Like, I know we need two Guppy items, but one of them's got to be Guppy's Tail. We desperately, desperately need... Uh, more items, and one of the ways that we can do that, more spirit hearts in particular, is by a uh, golden chest. We got the keys for all right. Skolex is is no problem. He, I swear to God, my keyboard had like a weird glitch there. Not that time. That time was all me being an idiot. But that first little bit of damage I took in there. Come on, come on. This is our moment. Don't blow it. If you only had one shot, would you take it or would you let it slip away? Don't even make fun of 8 Mile to my face. I was in 8th grade, ninth grade when that shit came out. I was in the perfect age to be enchanted by Eminem's struggle from obscurity to become a freestyle rap superstar. Please. Any minute now. Thank God. Okay. HP upgrade deal with the angel. It's got to be Godhead. Oh, it's three spirit hearts. Oh, my, my plantar's fasciitis is flaring up again. Oh, my type 4 diabetes. Come on. This is not good. Um, I think, you know, even though this is not the worst run I've ever had, if there was, a, you know, nominations for every category in Isaac, this run stands a very good chance of being literally the worst run I've ever had from a deal standpoint. We've hit up every deal, and they've all been shitty, man. And I don't, you know, I'm, I'm running the mental math here. Boop, 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 boop. And L's an idiot. Wow, that must be broken. Um, but uh, I don't think there's any way for us to not have super shitty deals. Like, the, the only way out is uh, getting Deal with the Devil precedent early so we don't get saddled with all these shitty deals with the Angel. But, you know, how are we supposed to get Deal with the Devil precedent? Our first Deal with the Devil didn't have an item on it. Maybe we have to get, like, a Joker card on the first floor... And then, like, a hope that that's Brimstone or something. So, long story short, this is, this run's bullshit, and there is a win embedded within here somewhere, but I'll be fucked if I know how to get to it. F farming, like, a fuckload of spiders thanks to Spider Baby, I guess. This mom's hard fight is gonna be laborious. But we still have one more out. We have a deal with the devil. Or, or a deal with the angel. Probably just as likely to be a deal with the angel. I was going to say more likely, but that's a little dishonest, I think. I think it's just as likely to be a deal with the angel. Thanks to this uh, Joker card that will pop on the cathedral. Great little bit of damage right there. Totally necessary to take that. Very uh, practical damage. And, um... Yeah, we're going to get like a really good item there and win the game. And uh, you know what? I'm not I'm only being half sarcastic when I say that cuz I'm pretty sure something like that is going to happen and then all of it's going to be even worse cuz all of my previous salt is going to seem like it's just coming from such a place of entitlement. They'll be like, "What are you complaining about? You won the run anyway." 
Well, yeah, you're right, but the the damage that I was doing on the run was not particularly as strong as I normally would like it to be, you know? Alright, so we're gonna take Lucky Toe. My toe, my toe, and we're gonna dodge through that with the greatest of ease. Greatest of D's. Why are we taking Lucky Toe? Because I don't know what the fuck Umbilical Cord really even does. It gives you like a familiar when you're at half a red heart or something like that. Real useful. Thanks a lot, Ed. And when I say thanks a lot, what I really mean is no thanks at all. Thanks for nothing. I have been using bombs a lot, but I kind of figured I'd be able to replenish them at a faster rate thanks to Burnt Penny. That's not really working out according to plan so far. Alright, let's do this shit. I mean, all we have to do is live through this fight. And after we live through this, Biff Naked style, uh, our life becomes, I mean, theoretically either easier or straight up over. So that'll be interesting to see which one of those prophecies ends up becoming true. It all hinges on the next floor's deal with the devil. I think that uh, if we if we grin our grit, if we grin, if we Rupert grint our teeth, if we grit our teeth, and we uh, really you know get down to get down to business here, we got a pretty okay chance of maybe beating the cathedral. It's not gonna be easy though. You should be a hundred times dead. Don't even give me that horse hockey. Alright, this is a huge moment of truth. No matter what the deals are, we have to take them if they exist, basically. Because our HP is meaningless at this point. Holy shit, guardian fucking angel. Oh, thank the heavens. I got guardian angel. If I play my cards right, this might protect me from like a single bit of damage that I take over the rest of the whole fucking game. Oh, amazing. So we should actually save this tower card. This is where shit gets absolutely ridiculous, because I have Pyro, so if I can actually save some... Previously didn't matter that much because I was rolling on Spirit Hearts, but... If I can actually... Oh, good job, yeah. If I can actually save, like this... For a situation, like, pretty much exactly like this... Wait a minute, okay, I'm, I gotta be careful. Do I have Pyromaniac? <laughs> I don't see it on there. I, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna if it kills me, it kills me. But I'm pretty sure it won't. Good, okay. So I did fuck up the use of the tower card there, but I, I hope you can understand my motivations. They were like completely selfish. It was If I use this and I don't have Pyromaniac, I will be the biggest idiot of all time. I will kill myself with the tower card, and then like people will laugh at me on the internet, and that's just the end of it, isn't it? That's just That's the end game right there. But um we got a little lucky, I guess. We, we still have Pyromaniac. All we need to do is pick up some bombs, and then it'll be hard to kill us, especially with the Miter. So maybe I've been looking at this run all wrong, man. Maybe I've been looking at it from an offensive standpoint like an idiot, when I should be looking at it from a defensive standpoint and saying, hey, we, we're going to be tough to kill. That's a new Steven Seagal movie. It's not, like, impossible to kill. It's just, like, it's not going to be easy, you know? Tough to kill. It can probably be done, but it's gonna take some elbow grease. Starring Steven Seagal as Elbow Grease. Former U.S. Navy SEAL. Current U.S. SEAL Navy. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm, you know... I'm picturing, like, Kiss from a Rose, you know... Da -da 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 I could do it, but I'm not gonna do it. I thought about doing it, but I'm not gonna do it. Alright, so what is this shit? This has got to be a library. And on a library, I would be hoping, like, just run the gamut, man. Give me Satanic Bible, give me Book of Revelations, give me Book of Shadows. I'm still gonna stick with Tammy's head in all likelihood. I don't have anything that makes my spacebar items better, so I pretty much gotta, like, well, I feel a strong compulsion to take items that charge in one room so I can use them more frequently. But I'd like to have some spirit hearts in the meantime. Oh, okay, four tarot cards. Justice is good enough. Make sure you get the bomb and the penny to try to get the other bomb. Emperor is pretty good. Death is pretty good. Magician sucks. So we'll take the death card, walk it into this bad boy right here, and it's not going to be useful on this room. I'm going to use the Emperor Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting for the fucking moon right now. I'm going to try to use the Emperor card on the... Oh my god, Kate, what are you doing here? You scared... Oh, yeah, it's, it's cool in here. You scared the shit out of me. You could knock or something. I love you too. You're, you're brushing your teeth right now. I'm in the zone. Don't kill my vibe. Um, I'm thinking we we go for broke here, and we uh, really thought that would kill them, but I don't think it will now that I 
think about it. <laughs> the sentence didn't really make much sense. But yeah, we're gonna try to use the Emperor card on the on the chest. I guess. Now just don't get hit in like the next two seconds here. There you go. At least give yourself the the chance to come out of it. Pulse Worm. Oh, fantastic. I think we gotta stick with Lucky Toe. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, hit me. Save the girl. Um. Shit, I don't know. Maybe Pulse Worm over Lucky Toe. What does it matter? Maybe Lucky Toe gives us a better chance to have a uh, to have a uh, burnt penny payout. So if that is indeed the case, then we probably should stick with our previous assortment of trink and trinkets. Got to use one bomb. Oh, no, we don't. We can fly. But now I can use one bomb, and I'll heal up anyway. And we'll use one more bomb because I'm an idiot and forgot that that's my lifeline. But we got one more back. So all's well that ends well. So, yeah, we really should not be using bombs until we get hit, I suppose. Then we can use them for offensive and defensive purposes combined. Both of you are like two hits away, yeah. All right, I'm not going to technically worry so much about picking that up right now. Should not have done that, but yeah, there you go. Hit me with your own bombs. That makes my life much easier. It's only the silkworms that are really a problem. And we get a tarot card here. Hierophant. Come on, Hierophant. Come on, Hierophant. Temperance. All right. Um, we can get a lot of bombs out of this if we play our cards right. There's one bomb. And then I guess we just blow it up. <laughs> Maybe it's not as many bombs as I thought. But we got a spirit heart out of it. Oh, this is good. Yeah, don't let don't let bum friend pick up any of this if you can avoid it. Get yourself those bombs, because that's HP, man. Every single one of these is like a the jar, you know? I guess we could just farm the shit out of this room. Like let ourselves get hit and then bomb ourselves back to HP. Then we'll pick up the bombs that come as a result of the money that we got hit. We dropped when we got hit. You know what I mean. You're picking up what I'm putting down. No, bum friend. These are not for you. These are for me. There's one more bomb there. I just wanted to just wanted to see how it was going. Well, I think we're going to beat Isaac. This fucking run is like two hours long. I'm... George is getting upset. I need to... Uh, that was like, I'll just do a quick one. So I hope oh, I can upload it as soon as it's done. Ruka... Ruka, I didn't mean to kick you, buddy. At the same time, don't. <laughs> what are you doing under under the desk there, you dingo? Freaking cat! Everyone's butting into my space. This is this is Daddy's time to work for the first time in a few days. All right, just everybody cool it. Also, if you could open the door and get on the floor, and perhaps if you consider it, maybe like walk the dinosaur. Tell you what, we're gonna do the obvious thing here: is we're gonna drop this shit and then pick it up so I don't have to deal with Pulse Worms horse hockey ever again. How's it going, Ruka? You still here? Hello. He's, he looks concerned. But that's just, that's par for the course for cats. I forgot I had this freaking coffee with me the whole time here. It's probably cold by now. It's been a 47 minute long run. Holy crap. Alright. Isaac, let's do this. Well, it would still be pretty nice if the chest could give me a damage up. I'm starting to get fed up with this tedium. And there's probably a second line. But that ups the difficulty. It previously was easy, and this would make it medium. Hey, that was, was alright, you know? Took me a second to remember what word I ended on there. That's just my patented S C U M rhyming style. The S stands for Shakespeare. Alright. Please, fuck off and die forever. Valentine's Day cards from Northern Lion Inc. Ruka, for real though. Coolie. I know you won't want me to be trapped in this room. I don't want to be trapped in this room either, but I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. So there go all of our spirit hearts. What the heck am I gonna? I guess I gotta use Tammy's head at some point. There we go. Hello, my cat friend. Have have I've come to meow at you again? Because in this room I'm in prison. 
Outside it, I have no vision. And the schism that is causing all my stress won't relent, is relentless. Maybe it's something like that. It is the sound of Ruka. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. All right, please. Just, just pass away peacefully in your sleep. Like Albert Finney and Big Fish. All right, we'll use the bombs to heal ourselves once you get that. You wanna, what are you doing, buddy? You want out? Then go out. Danny's got a new pair of shoes coming here. You ready? I can't tell if you wanna leave or you wanna stay. I'm gonna lock you out. You're gonna be mad. There you go. All right, here we go. We made it this far, unbelievably. Game Kid, Tiny Effing Planet, The Scissors, Halo of Flies. Can you fucking believe this? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we probably want to take Game Kid with us. I'm going to bomb myself a couple times here, even though we can get HP back. Like, I think... Okay, and we'll try a little tenderness, but mostly we'll try to... Oh, jeez. We'll try to kill uh, Sloth last in the hopes of picking up, like, a... Hero font card. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do the smart thing. Yeah, okay, we didn't have a choice in the matter anyway, but I was thinking that was a good idea. Kill that uh, gluttony last, so maybe the miter can pay out with some spirit hearts here. Okay, that it went fantastically. Alright, let's let's do this shit. I'm so mad. It's gonna work, isn't it? We're gonna win. Why am I mad that we're gonna win? Because the game didn't have the decency to even make me tap out. It just inconvenienced me. It's like that time I played Armello with Nick, and he sabotaged me deliberately, then basically killed himself so the AI would win. It's like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna hurt me, at least have it be in your own self-interest. Now I just feel like we've wasted our precious time here, but don't think twice, it's alright. So I'm gonna use the Game Kid, I mean, I guess when we get a little lower on HP for one, but also, um... Wow, I can't believe we didn't get hit there. Also when, um... Wow. Uh... You know, he becomes a little bit more difficult. Right now, it's the easy phase of the blue baby fight, relatively speaking. Shit, with Halo of Flies and Guardian Angel, I just, like, don't even need to move. There's a lot of shots coming in, and they're all getting blocked. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, you know what? I poo-pooed uh, Guardian Angel earlier, but this is pretty awesome. Still doing its job, huh? Well, I don't know whether to be happy or sad here, but this is going to be a one-run. Kind of remarkable. Should we use the game kit, I guess. We're generating a lot of flies. How does that happen? Did we turn when we use game kit do the flies turn into our favor? What's up with that? Holy shit, we won. I'm actually pissed off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope the uh you're not too jarred by the move. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. If you didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't enjoy it either. But thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you next time.